I'm Jos Rosen from RadioGardenSense.com. We have a backyard here that was loaded with weeds, but also, and the main reason we killed it is because there was a lot of wild grass or Bermuda grass in this area. So we had to get rid of all of that, and what we had to do is we have to we had to spray it with cleanup, and we did it about a month ago. You know, we made two applications of cleanup about five days apart. Just to make sure, we inspected and we thought that all the wild grass was dead. So a week later, what we did is we cut the grass real short, as short as possible. So we scalped it. After we scalped it, we raked it with a hot bamboo rake. Or you can also use a hot uh, metal rake and get rid of all the debris and dead grass and wild grass that is there. Then after that, we took the water saver grass seeds and just make sure that you don't overdo it because this is about a thousand square feet and you use about seven pounds per one thousand square feet this is a ten pound bag so we didn't use all of it we used about seven pounds so we got a two or three pounds left over when you shop for water saver you know there may be some imposters i don't know but make sure that the berenberg brand is on there and it, it will say RTF regenerating tall fescue. It's a tall fescue that makes babies. Just like bluegrass, it will grow up and then it makes side shoots. So out of one you get maybe 10 or 15 more. You know, it all depends how you take care of it. So we're gonna, and we did overseed it with water saver. Berenberg's RTF, make sure it's on the bag. The same day, and, I, and that's about the only fertilizer I think that I know of, you can use the same day, is that Turf Trust. It's a low salt index fertilizer with many, many different components. It has the trace elements in there, not only the N, B, and K, but it has the minor and trace elements in there. So we use the earth trace spreader on setting 15, according to the directions on the bag. And we went up and down the same day as it was sown, because you can do that safely. And we fed that entire area here with turf trust. Now, about a week or two later, water daily, but of course we had quite a bit of rain here in this area, so of, on the days that we didn't have any rain, we kind of skipped it. So it was water daily. Another thing that I have to point out, the grass is covered with the leaf grow. The areas where the leaf grow washed away, you can see there is no germination and that's an indication how important it is that it is covered. The areas where leaf grow is, and here you'll see the baby grass, whatever the soil is bare and it, the seed is not covered, although I see seed laying here, it's not germinating, so it will be much slower in germinating. So what we're going to do now, we're going to, to help those little baby grasses to grow the root system, we're going to use that new biostimulant kickstart. It is shipped empty. It looks like, you know, a lot of people call us and they say, oh, you know, the bottom leaked. No, it's shipped empty. And then you put the water in there. Read the instructions in the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up this bottle. The active ingredient is in here. Okay, now it's full. Almost looks like a black tarry mess. I'm gonna put the top on again, because it says on the bottle, shake it real well. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna shake it real well. Now we're gonna put it in the applicator, and that's the auto dial sprayer, if you have one of those. We're gonna take the entire contents, the quart of kickstart, you see how black it is? It's well mixed, nice. Nice soluble, there's nothing left in the bottle here anymore. I'm going to put the top on the sprayer. We make sure that the dial is on one ounce because that's what it says on the directions. And we connect the hose. Okay, it's securely fastened. We make sure again that it's on one ounce according to directions. And what we're going to do is we're going to spray the entire lawn with the kickstart. Turn on, there we go. And we just walk slowly. So we walk slowly. Okay, now the whole entire lawn is sprayed with kickstart. 
you know, the roots will be happy because they'll be growing much faster and the, the fertilizer can work much more efficient. Quick start is a biostimulant that makes fertilizer work better. You have about a 20 to 40 percent increase in efficiency. It helps elongate the root, the root so they can pick up trace elements better. And that's to say, a lot of people, you know, they just put N, P, and K on the lawn, but the trace elements are just as important or even more important. It's like oil in a car. If you don't have any oil in a car, you don't go anywhere. I don't care how much gas you have. There's one other little point after all this is done. If you can zoom in a little bit here, you can see that grass is all coming up here, but you see there are some weeds and they say thank you too. You know, that because this uh, area here was neglected and a lot of weeds grew here and they, of course they produce seeds over time and, and then the, 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 the plants were killed, the grass and the weeds were killed, but there were a lot of seeds left behind and they all, you know, after the seed bed was made, you know, they, uh, We'll take care and they'll take advantage of that and they'll say thank you, but we got something waiting for them. We have, and we're here in Maryland now, this grass can be mowed before the later part of November, can be mowed several times, and then it's still probably about 55 to 60 degrees. And this fall we can make an application of speed zone and that will take all those emerging baby weeds out. So we have to wait two mowings before we can take care of those weeds. In the areas of New England and maybe Chicago, you know, it may be getting too cold for that. So what we have to do is we just have to wait till the springtime and take care of those weeds. And I'm Jos Rosen from RadioGardenSense.com.